Hi, Missy and Kids. It's Missy and Tanea. And Miss Lexi, we hope you and your families are having a great week so far. We are so excited for our lesson today. But first, let's start with our Mosaic Kids Memory Challenge. So if you aren't already, go ahead and stand up and wiggle it out. Um, and so our Memory Challenge that we are going to review for today is Psalm 1611. Repeat after me. You make known to me the path of life in your presence. There is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 16, colon, 11. Good job, guys. Yes, good job, friends. Uh, okay, we are, um, you know, at this point that we do Mosaic Q&A, MK Q&A, and that is about memorizing truths about who God is in the form of question and answer. So we know we do this in lots of ways, you know, so we've talked about, you know, what color is the sky? It's blue. Um, what sound do puppies make? They bark. Um, what is a baby cat? <laughs> a kitten, right? So we're doing something similar except for all of our questions and answers will help us learn more about who God is and how he is good, great, glorious, and glorious and gracious. Are you ready to get started? Awesome. But first, we are going to play a game. And so today we are going to play up, down, stop, and go. And so remember, this game is a game of opposites. So if I say to go up, you're actually going to crouch down on the ground. Yep. And then if I say down, you're going to actually reach really high on your tippy toes and reach to the sky. And if I say stop, you are going to run in place. And if I say go, then you're going to freeze with your arms out. Okay? Are y'all ready? Okay. Up. Stop. Go. Down. Up. Go. Ooh, 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 no, no. <laughs> Stop. Up. Go. Stop. Down. Up. Down. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was sudden. I always get a little. A lot of breath, that one. Thank you so much, Miss Lexi, for that. Okay, so now it's time for MK Q and A of the week. So our question is: Can anyone keep the law of God perfectly? And the answer is: Since the fall, no human has been able to keep the law of God perfectly. Okay, so repeat after me: Can anyone keep the law of God perfectly? And then the answer: Since the fall, no human has been able to keep the law of God perfectly. Okay, so remember, everything um, that we learn in MK Q&A comes from the Bible. And the Bible is God's steward. It is from God, and it is about God. And so our verse for today is from Romans 3, um, verses 10 through 12, which says, None is righteous, no, not one. No one understands. No one seeks for God. Um, all have turned aside. Together they have become worthless. No one does good, not even one. So the last several weeks, we learned about the Ten Commandments. And so remember that we learned that God rescued his people out of slavery in Egypt, and he knew that they needed a new way to live and relate to him and to one another. So he gave them the law, and the law is a set of good and loving rules that God gives his children because he cares about them. So do you have good and loving rules at home? Of course, because rules help us to love one another. And so God's rules or his law are good and loving because he is good and loving. And so we talked all about why God gave us those laws and rules and what they were and how they were really about our worship and our love for God and love for neighbor. And so now we're moving on to ask the question, can anyone keep the law perfectly? Um, and the answer is, since the fall, no human, except for Jesus, who's fully God and fully human, has been able to keep the law of God perfectly. So here's the thing. The law, or God's good and loving rules, tell us something really important. They tell us bad news, but they also tell us good news. So we're going to talk about the bad news first. The bad news is that since the fall, since Adam and Eve disobeyed God, no one, except for Jesus, has been able to keep the law of God perfectly. So that is what it means to have a heart that is sick with sin. 
everyone born after Adam and Eve, besides Jesus, was born with a heart that was sick with sin, which means everyone since then has been unable to keep God's laws, his good and loving rules perfectly. And that's the bad news because that is sin and sin separates us from God. But we still have the good news. And so that's the bad news. But the good news is the gospel that we can have a healthy heart and a heart that is able to keep God's law, which means not just doing the right thing, but doing it for the right reasons. That's what it means to have a healthy heart, that you can choose to obey God. Does that mean you'll do it perfectly? No, but it means that you were able to. And so the law, God's rules, show us that we need Jesus. And that's good because God is gracious and he saves his people. And so God knew that after the fall, that people would not be able to keep the law and that this would mean that we would be separated from God. But God knows that we need him more than anything. And he is gracious. He saves his people. And so he saved his people by sending his son, Jesus, fully God and fully man, who would obey the law perfectly on behalf of God's children. And so for God's children, for those who love and trust Jesus, the bad news becomes really good news. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for Jesus. I thank you that um, although no one has been able to keep the law perfectly, because our hearts have been born, have, we've been born with hearts that are sick with sin. And that is bad news, but that you give us good news. And that good news is that Jesus came um, and that he lived a perfect life in a way that we never could. So that if we love and trust him, um, that we might receive a healthy heart that can obey you. God, would you help us to want to obey you? Would you help us, um, would you give us a healthy heart? Um, and would you help us to love you all the more? In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, now it is time for some review questions to see how well you were listening. So after I ask a question, go ahead and pause the video and shout out the answer. Then unpause to hear the answer. So um, what is our question answer? Question is, uh, can anyone keep the law of God perfectly? What's the answer? Since the fall, no human has been able to keep the law of God perfectly. What is the law? God's good and loving rules. What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news that Jesus has made a way for us to be with God. What does God is gracious mean? It means he saves his people. And what is the biggest enemy that God saved his people from? Sin and separation from him. Okay, now we're going to practice all of our Ten Commandments hand motions. Um, okay, so, you shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make yourself for yourself an idol. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony and you shall not covet. Good job, guys. We'll see you Sunday. Bye.